In this video, I'm going to review Campagnolo Eckhart, which is a 13-speed one-by gravel group set. I've had it on a demo bike that I've been riding for about two months, and I've got some opinions on this group set. The way I'm gonna do this review is I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison with Shimano, because I like to do reviews like that. We have choices, and I think it's a fair comparison to compare it to some of the other options that we have. I've been riding Shimano GRX for a long time. I love it. In fact, I would say I probably like it a bit better than SRAM ETAP. And that's saying a lot because a lot of people love ETAP. But let's go to the Eckhart group set and I'm going to start with the positives. This is the first one by group set that I would ride. In the past, I have not liked one by group sets because the jump between gears is too much. The way this group set is designed, this particular bike has a 10 to 44, I think that's right, a 10 to 44 cog in the back. You can get different options, but the nice thing about it is the gears that I would call the cruising gears, where you're going you know, above 15, 16 miles an hour, you don't have that jump because you've got 13 gears. And this is the only company right now that's making a 13 speed. Shimano just got into 12 speed. <laughs> SRAM's been at 12 speed for a while. We'll probably, in fact, I know we'll see SRAM go to 13 before we see Shimano. Shimano's funny, right? It's, they, they, I like it the best, but they are so slow to move to new technology. But let's talk about Campanolo, and I'm gonna say Campy for the rest of this video. So however you say it, some people say Campag, I say Campy. Now, my first road bike, my first real road bike, had Reynolds 853 steel frame set, and I had Campy Chorus, down tube shifters. The bike was sweet. Tubular tires, it was the bomb. So Campanolo is steeped really deep into cycling tradition, and it kind of carries through to this group set. What I mean by that is that the levers are smaller. So it, the levers feel more like a traditional road lever. And the way that they've designed the shifting is to keep the levers from moving like a Shimano lever. This is what I think. I think Campagnolo or Campy have really kept their lever to feel more like a traditional road lever. It's more narrow, it's not the flatter, wider style like Shimano, and it doesn't move back and forth like Shimano. And so because of that, you've got a little funky shifting mechanism that I'll show and I'll talk about. Uh, but about, back to the 13 speed. So you don't start to get the big jump between gears until you need to go slower, and, which is probably a good thing, right? Like when you're climbing and you may come around a corner and you gotta go up a hill really quickly and, and downshift, you can do that and skip some gears. So I love the 13 speed of the Campy Eckar. Let's talk about the brakes. So the brakes, I believe, are designed by Magura. They're hydraulic. The good thing about the brakes is they're mineral oil. They also have one of the best bleed processes. I set up this bike when I got it. I had to borrow the bleed kit from someone. And it's the kind of bleed where you screw in the bleed kit into the lever and also the caliper. And there's pretty much no drip. It's a great bleed system. The brakes have more modulation than Shimano, but they felt a bit mushy for my taste. But the biggest downside for me with the brakes was the pad clearance. The tolerance is so tight, it's, it's really hard to get them centered, harder than Shimano. And so you know, they, they, they have a pretty good feel. I prefer Shimano. I like the, the, the bite, the grab of Shimano. That's an opinion. I think some people are gonna like the more modular feel of these kind of brakes. It's a little bit more SRAM feeling, but you do have mineral oil, which I love mineral oil. So that's it for the brakes. Now let's go into kind of how it feels when you're riding. And I'll start with the ergonomics. So I do actually really like the, the shape of the, the Eckar system. Uh, it's got a tall hood and your hands fit really nicely on the lever, uh, on the hoods. And so I like that. It's, it's, it's got a nice ergo feel to it. Very comfortable to ride. I, I mentioned the, the, the brake levers being a more narrow shape than Shimano. I actually prefer Shimano because it's not bad. It's, it, it's, it's not that noticeable. I'm, I'm being pretty picky here, but 
the I, I like uh, the wider feel of the brake lever. The the thing that I I did not like about Campy Ekar is the shifting. For one, the inner lever is opposite of Shimano. So on Shimano, you tap the inner lever to go to a harder gear. So it loosens the cable, drops the derailleur down into a smaller cog in the back, which is a harder gear. Campy Eckhart is the opposite. So when you push the inner lever, you're going to an easier gear, bigger cog. And so that takes some getting used to. It's not, it's not bad, it's, it's just different. And so if, if you've ridden Shimano like I have for a really long time, man, I had some mischiefs on this bike. After about a week or two of riding, I would say I got used to it and it was no big deal. I stopped mist shifting. So it's kind of one of those things that if you have more than one drop bar bike, road, gravel, I just would recommend having the same system across all bikes. Even SRAM ETAP to Shimano, I just, I like knowing precisely how to shift. So that's more of a getting used to. The thing that I, I really didn't like, well, two things. The inner lever has a longer throw than Shimano. And the, the, the inner lever actually kept getting stuck. It, it kept get, hitting the brake lever. And I would say like 50% of the time when I shifted, it would get stuck. I don't know if that's a design issue or maybe just this system had this issue. But every time I went to do the next shift, the lever was further in. I could still shift, but it, it just was stuck and it just, it, it was annoying. But the, the big downside for me is this lever on the inside. This is the lever that you use to shift into a harder gear. And it is a little bit harder to move than I think it should be. When you're riding, like if you're, if you're up here and your, your palms are resting a bit on the handlebars and the rest of your hand is on the hoods, which I ride a lot. So in other words, you're not fully up forward, you're kind of back a little bit. It's in a good position. I ride mainly with my hands fully on the hoods. And what I noticed was I would have to kind of rotate my hand back just a little bit. Whereas Shimano, I can just keep my hand right here. It does not move. I just move my fingers. So tap the lever to go to a harder gear, push the whole lever over to go to an easier gear. Whereas this, like I said, the inner levers go to an easier gear. This is to go to a harder gear. So I didn't like having to rotate my hand back. It's not a big deal. It's just, again, I've been using Shimano for so long. I'm used to just keeping my hands perfectly still and kind of having to rotate back a little bit. When you're in the drops, you have to reach your thumb up pretty good. So it kind of depends where your hands are. So if your hands are more up forward, you know, you your thumb has to come up. Whereas Shimano, you would just reach your finger over and you know, hit the inner lever or push the whole lever over to shift. Whereas here, you know, like, so, so Shimano, say you're going into a harder gear, you just kind of reach forward and tap that inner lever easy. This one, you're gonna have to reach your thumb up. So, you know, I, I just, I'm not a fan. I, I, I told you this was gonna be a little bit opinionated video. I'm just not a fan of this system. It's going to be up to you whether you like it or not. Like I said, if it's your only bike, you're going to get used to it. It's probably not going to be that big of a deal, but um, I much prefer just the easier, you know, less hand movement to do a shift like I have with Shimano. Now, as far as the precision of shifting, it was great. The shift, I never had to adjust the shifting. It's, it's, it's a very precise shifting group set, which is a big deal for 13 speed because as the tolerances get tighter, you in theory could have more problems shifting. I didn't have that. So it shifts really well. Again, I think my main issue with it is that inner lever. I just, I just didn't like it. Everything else other than the brakes feeling a tad mushy for my taste, everything else about the group set is pretty good except for the inner lever being opposite of Shimano. It's just something you got to get used to. Uh, but again, as far as the actual shifting, the 13 speed is great. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I would run this as a, if I had to pick a one by system and I didn't have any other bikes, this would be it. Now I prefer two by, so my, my favorite group set is Shimano GRX mechanical two by, <laughs> and maybe one day I'll have the 12 speed, but 
with a two by, you really don't need 12 speed, 11 is just fine. So anyway, that is my review of Campanello Eckhart. I would love to hear your opinions if you've tried this group set. Uh, do you share my opinions? Do you wildly disagree with my opinions? Let me know. I'm curious. So my first time using Campanello for a very, very long time. Yeah, that's it for this video. I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.